video is going to be an epic two day fossil hunt searching two different beaches for our lovely Jurassic Ammonites. It's quite foggy out there today. It's low tide in about three and a half hours, four hours, something like that. So I'm a little bit early, but I'm going to make my way down anyway. So I was actually out and about at this particular beach a few weeks ago. And on the way down, for the first time, I actually saw an adder. And I didn't know this at the time, but adders are the UK's only venomous snake in the wild. So I'll run that footage. So I'll make my way down the very slippery track near to where the old tractor is or odd old bit of machinery at the bottom there. So I'm just at the beach level now, so I'll have a good look around. And there we go, the very first find of the day. Inside this lovely little nodule, there's a nice little Catocolosserus ammonite. Hopefully it's preserved there. I'll get the air pen on it back at home. But what a lovely little example that is. Hopefully find a few more of them. Check out the amount of fossilized shells which is preserved in this rock here. Must be hundreds of them. Tiny little bivalve shells. Very cool. I'm sure someone will love that. I'll leave that there for them. A perfect nodulized DAC. I'll take that one back exactly as it is. Two more decent DAC nodules. Dactylioceros ammonites, the most common ammonite on the Yorkshire coast, these ones. So that's quite a uh, cool and interesting find. It's a very crushed Nautilus fossil. I'll take that one back. Quite rare Nautilus. Unfortunately, a lot of them are preserved like this, all crushed. So I've shot around the uh, big sandstone boulders. And I'm heading round now. This little pathway seems to get worse every single time. First find round here is a beautiful shell. Nice little bivalve shell. It's a little bit worn, but worth taking back. So I've just picked up this nice rock here and there's a what looks like a Gramoceros inside it. A little Dactylioceros still with its cap of matrix over the top of it. So I'm going to put that one straight in my bag. So we've got just the edge of a Gramoceros showing there. So I'll take that one back. I'm not going to hit this one because I just destroyed the last one. So I better say for sorry and I'll prepare it at home. Look at that one. It's pretty much prepared out of the matrix naturally on the big old heavy rock. Let's have a look at it in the light. Beautiful Gramoceros species of ammonite. Not bad. A very crushed Pseudoleoceros there. It's crushed really far in there. But maybe it'll clean up. Only one way to find out. Worth taking back anyway. So I'm heading back to the first bay which I skipped past right at the beginning been unfortunately very slim pickings at this bay which is quite unusual but there's nothing we can do so let's hopefully find some more around the other corner let's try and make up for a poor run around there and find something interesting around here i've just spotted a nice looking chunky one on the floor or it's going to be all there that's a dactylioceros that one it will be all there nice mouth border so this is a larger pseudoleoceros it's obviously really well worn on this side, so I'm just going to give it a tap. It'll probably shatter, but I'm not going to take it back like that anyway. Let's have a look then. So unfortunately, just got the little middle out. So I've just picked up another Catacolosterus. It's not 100% complete, I don't think. So I will take that one back and prepare it rather than hitting it because they don't split very well from here, but they can prepare out. What a shame, this is not complete. I could already see that it was missing a bit here, but I could give it a tap anyway. And look at the ammonite nodes or spikes, what was kept. I don't know how they managed to stay in the ammonite split, but it's a Peronoceros ammonite, this so one. I just spotted something which could be quite good, or it could be a partial. I've not grabbed it out yet. It's sat underneath this big old rock here. So you can see it's there. Let's go 
gonna take it out. Hopefully this rock doesn't fall over on me. Oh, I think it's a partial. Oh no. Ah oh, wow, what a shame. Just a partial, but that keel looks so good. Oh well. If you would like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. There's loads of beautiful ammonites available for purchase. There's also fossilised and other interesting fossils. Please take a look if you are interested. Thank you. So it seems to be a day of incomplete fossils today. Look at the beautiful keel of that Hildoceros ammonite. I'm going to get my chisel in and try and get it to split over this side. Whether it'll work or not, it's a incomplete one anyway, but it'll be cool to see it. While it's not a totally complete example, I'll be able to make a smaller fossil from it. I'll take this outer world down, maybe take it down to about there, and it'll be a nice size smaller Hildoceros. This is also a different species of Hildoceros. Finally, something what looks quite good. Lovely little Hildoceros in a nodule. Look at that. A lovely nodule with a nice dac showing on the inside. You can see the just the edge of the keel there. I think I'm going to give this one a tap. Well, it looks like a good. Split. Again, the preservation from here may not be brilliant, but let's have a look. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Good as it could have gone, I guess, but it's missing all the middle. It's all stayed on the other half. Kind of expected that though. Oh well. I do seem to be finding quite a few lovely DAC nodules, but I'm looking for the chunky ones. But they must be all hiding today, because I've only found that one right at the beginning. Can't go wrong with that. Lovely split. Just saw the one edge, and it's revealed a lovely Hildoceros ammonite. Beautiful. So this is one of them really cool bivalve shells. They've got like weird lumps and bumps on them. Don't know the name for this, this particular species of them, but I really want to find a fresh one. Got very lucky with this split. I didn't expect it to go like this. I think it's a Peronoceros, but in fact, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is because it's got little nodes there. You see in the corner. Lovely little nodes. What a lovely split. Pleased with that. Really enjoying my time here today. Now the rain stopped, it's turned absolutely beautiful. No one else on the beach today as well. So I've got it all to myself. Once I reach the end there, I think I'm going to have another look back just for the sake of it since I've got so much time. Another lumpy and bumpy bivalve shell. A little bit crisper this one but it's still being in the sea you can tell because it's worn away the, uh, the little patterns so we've got yet another lovely hildy now i saw this little crack so i thought oh, it may be worth a little tap i popped it and look at that beautiful fossilized hildoceros ammonite doesn't get much better than that although the size could be a bit bigger but other than that i'm not complaining you can see the tide is definitely turned now and it's on its way in so I won't be here much longer luckily there's a clear way off the beach at this particular beach so I've just popped this little worn one with my hammer and look at the middle of that I'll take the rest of the rock off with my air tools at home because I don't want to ruin it because the middle of this is just beautiful it goes all the way that's me done for this beach I'm going to head up the long walk up the cliff and you can enjoy the video tomorrow morning everybody welcome back to day two of the fossil hunting trip so in today's hunt i've come to runswick bay i'm going to be having a quick look towards the rope all the way over there and then towards low tide i'll have a nip around this way towards port Morgrave, and i'll see what's around there the tide is obviously well in but i always like to come early you never know what will be washed up well it's another beautiful day on the yorkshire coast not sure how much there will be to find today. Hopefully there'll be a fair bit when the tide's gone out. So falling out of this 
rather fresh landslide here. There's a large slab of shale with a nodule sticking out here. And this could be the type which usually contains tenucostatum ammonites. So using my hammer and chisel, I'm gonna chisel it out. So it's loose. Oh, that's a perfect one, that's the type you want to be looking for. So let's give it a crack. So we've got a split, and if I peel away this little bit, you can see there is an ammonite on the inside. So yeah, you've, there's a tenucostatum ammonite in there. So it is one that needs to be taken back and prepared. It's not preserved perfectly. You can see it's crushed a little bit on this outer whirl, but I should be able to make it look a little bit more presentable back at home with my air tools. So we've got quite an interesting find here. It could be an ichthyosaur vertebra. And this is from the grey shales, so it's a little bit rarer to find bone. Not sure if I've ever found very much bone in this type of material. Let's have a little chisel and see if my thoughts are correct. So it's loose, let's have a look. It's hard to say, but I think it is. Yeah, so it is an ichthyosaur vertebra. Very fragile, this. Oh, there we go. So the middle just popped off it, revealing the little center there. Very cool. Shame it's so fragile. If you do enjoy watching these fossil hunting videos, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. So I noticed a rock with this worn edge of an ammonite poking out. So I give it a tap with my hammer and the other side split off beautifully revealing this lovely harposterus right on the edge. What a nice little piece. Look at this mega pyritic ammonite I've just pulled out of this rock pool here. So you can only just see the very mouth border, but it looks really nicely pyritized and golden. So I'm going to take that one straight back without tapping it and I'll prepare it. Looking forward to that one. One lovely rounded C1 nodule here. I suspect there will be a nice ammonite inside, but let's find out. So we have got a nice looking tenucostatum ammonite inside there. I'll take this one back and finish preparing it and it'll be a stunner. A nice coprolite fossilized poo, which I've just picked up. So I've just picked up this lovely looking nodule out of this little mud slide here. Lots of shale slabs, all rusty colors. And I popped it open to reveal this lovely Dactyliosaurus on the inside. Beautiful one. So I've just picked two more nodules up. Quite a thin one that. So I've just picked up this rock pooly ammonite. You see it's a nice rounded nodule and there's a nice keel running through it. So I'm gonna get my chisel in and see if it splits well. Let's have 
a look. Oh, that's a beauty. That's everything for today's video. Hopefully you have all enjoyed it and I will see you all on the next one.